Hey, full RPM fans, we got another legendary video for you today. All about the new Laguna Seca 5 from Dainese. It came with this little bag here. Some things are in it. So let's find out what's in here. First, you have this little mesh bag. It's really, it's really decent. Like a probably like a little extra handbag if you want to carry something from the store. I like that. They also have professional cleaning kit. Just two oils and I mean an oil and a cleaner in here. I don't know what the heck this is. Also comes with the suit bag. Yeah, this is what it is. The suit bag. You zip the suit up, you put it inside of this, zip it up, travel with it, or take it to the track. Yeah. So that's the bag. Alright, back to the suit. The suit is a hundred percent cowhide. All the way through. Hundred percent cowhide. It's one two and two two millimeter thick. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there are these triaxle system they have. They call it triaxle. It's these a little accordion stretch fabrics all the way around the suit, up the shoulders, down the side, which allows the suit to stretch and to form to the way of your body, the way you move on the bike to keep you comfortable. The suit has XF arrow inserts throughout of it. All of the padding, all of the inserts throughout it. It's XF arrow. has pro shape hip protectors. You know, when I first put the suit on, I didn't even know it had hip protectors in there. They're so in tuned with the suit, they feel so nice that you don't even feel it. And those are level two, like I said. It also has these floating shoulder pucks here, which is composite protectors on the inside but they're aluminum on the outside yeah aluminum there also in the, in the elbow slider the elbow pad the whole elbow pad is aluminum and we all know what aluminum does if you slide it bends and slides and burns and rubs out it, it doesn't catch and make you tumble smart as you can tell the suit has a lot of perforation a lot of air holes going throughout it all through the front here up the chest down the side up the leg stretch material here along parts where it needs to as well which allows the, the suit to stay comfortable and breathe while it's on you the inside Is there washable, removable liner? It does not come with a back protector, but does feel like there's foam or something in there. It has one pocket. 
inside here has one pocket. Pocket isn't really big, it's just enough for your cell phone. The back here have this nice aerodynamic hump. That aerodynamic hump is actually two things in one. You can also, from the inside, apply a water bag in here. And if you have the helmet that allows you to drink from it, you can connect your water pouch to that and drink. One thing I love about this suit, <laughs> I love how all of the wording on the suit is blacked out. I love that on the arms. Everything is blacked out on the legs everywhere. I also love how they have the hump at the top with the logo. Well, I mean the logo at the on the top of the hump instead of in the small of the back down here or lower. I don't I don't really like that. I like it right there in the middle of the back. They have these removable removable elbow sliders along with removable knee sliders. Nice accordion stretch up the knee. Nice knee pads on the inside. It's all padded. All of this is padded. Huge replaceable knee puck. Pretty big, bigger than I think the standard. A lot of accordion stretch fabric on the back. Reinforced high knee. <laughs> it's two two leather back here. You can feel the thickness of it. It's really thick back here. Really thick. Down the back of the leg here. It's a lot of stretch fabric. A lot of stretch fabric. Here is something I love. Now on some inside of the leg, this is the normal zip down. Normal zip down, you zip the calf down. Then if you have, if you're one of those guys with Olympic size calves, <laughs> you know, gold medalist, you can also unzip it here and allow it to form to the size of your calf I like that I really like that also here on the inside this other side of the velcro here goes up through there through the suit. this allows you to connect to the bottom of the boot connect your boot inside of the suit so this goes there's some Velcro on the outside of my boot. I'll show you in a second when I put the suit on that this straps to it and holds the suit in place. Dynasty is so smart. They're so ahead of the competition. So far ahead of them. There's also this one little thing here on the inside of the leg. This right here. What this allows you to do is if you're in the corner and your bike is laid down pretty good this allows you to grip your tank it's rubber right here these little rubber grips right here they're a little textured you can feel it you put the suit on and if you were to lean your bike over those things allow you to grip the tank a lot better <laughs> Who thinks of these things to put on the suit, man? Dainese, man, you're so far ahead of the competition. Oh, but there's one thing that I do have to say that I 
don't like about the suit. When I first originally bought the suit, well, the reason why I bought the suit was because I thought it was all black and not a lot of red as you see on it. I thought it was just on the back of the arms as you see. But when the suit actually came, it was red on the legs as well. Now, when I looked at the pictures, there were no red, but when I zoomed in on the pictures a lot more, I noticed that they had photo chopped it or Photoshop. They changed the image from the red here. They changed it to black. So beware of that buyer beware. But other than that, I like the suit a lot. On a scale of one to 10, I give the Laguna Seca around uh, eight and a half, nine. But now I'll get into the suit, show you guys how to properly put on the suit. I see a lot of people online trying to get in and out of the suit, but they're doing it wrong. So I'll show you now properly. First thing you do, you wanna make sure all of your zippers are open. You also want to have on a layer of under armor, pants and shirt. Why? Because it'll make you get in and out of the suit much easier when the suit fills up with sweat. So make sure you get one of these. I also have on my Dainese Pro Armor body, I mean, back protector. And now we'll put the suit on. First, I want to put one leg in, and put the other leg in. Now, this is where I sit down and get all my knee stuff together, get all of my legs together. Now this is the stage where you put your boots on. I see a lot of people in the videos put their suit up on them, then want to go back and put their boots on. Doesn't work like that. So properly show you now.
Now that I got my boots on, now is where you go up with the suit. These Dynasty Torque Pro in boots. Strapped to the suit. Makes the knees from the knee down feel like one piece. It's back protector, I don't even feel it. I give the suit a minimal one day break in period, if not a few hours. I don't think it needs any more than that. Man, this thing feels really good. Dainese, Laguna Seco 5. Uh -huh.